Alright guys, what's up? This is Kyle and this is another video from The Social Did. Today's video was voted for and suggested by our Patreon, so if you are interested in helping us shape the channel, deciding what videos we make, what you want to see, have a look at our Patreon and you'll be able to help pick videos like this one. So what our patrons voted for this time around was alter dynamics. So how alters interact within the system, like what kind of relationships there are, what it's like to like live with other people in your head all the time basically. I thought I was probably the best one to do this video because I'm a primary protector which basically means that I have the most insight into the system like I know what goes on, I know who's around, I know generally how people are getting on, where people are at, you know I've got the down low on most things because that's my job right? So like every system is good <laughs> I'm sorry I just heard Nin in the back of my head saying yeah take a drink every time Kyle says like no, don't do that. Take a drink of water, stay hydrated. So yeah, yeah, things are gonna be different for every system. So it doesn't matter whether you've got DID, OSDD or what, every system is unique. Your experience of how your alters interact with each other, the relationships they have, what they mean to you is gonna be different. So some systems might see themselves as being like a family, others might run more like a business, a machine, whatever is needed to make sure that they stay safe, that it works for them. Like everyone's life is different, everyone's past is different, everyone's trauma is different and it shaped your brain uniquely, right? So there's no right or wrong way to have a system, there's no right or wrong way for your alter dynamics to manifest. This is just some of the ways it can. I'm not saying that it's the only way, it's just an example, like, you get me, you get me, you know what I'm saying. Where to begin, like, where, where do I even start? We get comments, and we've always got comments of people being like, oh my god, it must be so cool to have, like, friends in your head all the time, like, 24-7, you must never get lonely. Yeah, no, like, it, it ain't really like that. I can understand why you would think that, but alters get on and don't get on, just like anyone else. If you moved into a house full of strangers, right, and had to share your space with them 24 seven, and all of them were really like, unique people. You ain't all gonna get on, it just ain't gonna work like that. Even if you are like the nicest person ever who gets on with everyone, there's gonna be things that ruffle your feathers and you're gonna come into contact with people who are like completely different from you. So it's the same thing with alters, everyone's created for a reason, for a specific purpose essentially. Not all of those reasons are gonna like connect well. So especially in the case of persecutors, there are alters who exist in systems who essentially take on the roles of external abusers or will harm the body and other alters in the system as a way of trying to prevent further abuse. I know it sounds convoluted and it is convoluted but when you're that traumatised it's really difficult to see beyond your experiences. I ain't the healthiest way to go about things, but the most important thing is that you are alive, right? Other stuff can be worked through. So that's what your brain is thinking when it makes alters that may not initially seem like the healthiest thing for your brain to do, right? These alters may harm the body because if they think, well, you know, if I do basically the job that the external abuser is doing, then they won't have to hurt me as bad. So at least the abuse is in my control. There can also be things like interjects of abusers. So basically the alter themselves is almost like a copy in your own head of the person or people who are facilitating or causing the abuse. And it can take a long time for alters to understand that they're not actually that person. And it can be proper complicated. So basically anything that can happen in the external world can also happen in the inner world. Alters can fight, they can argue, they can fall in love, they can be friends or they can be enemies, they can have <laughs> intimate relationships or torture each other. 
and living with all that going on inside your head as well as dealing with everything that you, you would have to deal with anyway in the external world like you know general life and school and bills and you know whatever else you're going on if you're already in an abusive situation outside of that imagine dealing with that and all this rubbish going on in your head sometimes it's hard to keep up with who's fallen out with who or you know who's feeling what about anyone else and it gets complicated it ain't as simple as oh, I've got friends in my head 24 7 seriously though the amount of arguments that happen over nothing is unreal sometimes and you really got to work hard on facilitating that you can trust each other because like imagine I'm going to use this like roommate theory again if you want this example imagine the fights that you get into or bickering over you know how much money has been spent on food and you know bills and who ain't paid rent and you know like I went out and bought like you know toilet paper and washing up liquid and stuff like that you owe me so and so much money or whatever who's left spaghetti all over the floor who hasn't taken the bins out like stuff like that you argue about it. Now imagine that, but you're sharing your whole life with someone in the same body. Who hasn't showered today? Who ain't fed the body? Who's been self-harming, purging, whatever? Why are we in the middle of town? Who's been drinking when we ain't supposed to be drinking? I'm not saying that this is applicable to us, because a lot of this ain't, but has been in the past. But this does happen with a lot of systems. It can be stressful and put a strain on any relationship in those kind of situations you have other experiences where you go through stuff together. You are living a life together and that brings you closer in some cases. And then there are experiences you can have of like younger alters being essentially raised by older alters. So a lot of the littles in my system know me as their dad essentially. And Chloe was known as their mum and Lynn still to some extent a parental figure after she integrated. Certain alters will be closer to or have better communication with other alters. Using Nin again as an example, Nin integrated from Nina, a sexual alter and ex-persecutor, with our host at the time, Chloe, and together they formed Nin as she is now, right? So she's got memories of being both of them. And after she integrated, she now has better communication and better relationships with the persecutors in our system that knew Nina because Nina was really close with them, right? Whereas before that, she couldn't even really talk to them and she was like, shit scared of them. For good reason. That improves things. So integrating and new art was being created and stuff like that can also sort of change the relationships and the dynamics between alters. And if they are a big part of the system, like for example, Chloe was because she was the host that's going to change the dynamic of the whole system right so just like anything alters are fluid you know some alters can age some alters don't age alters can raise each other fall in love with each other as I said they can be enemies you know they can make amends they can get closer or further apart from each other bicker they can have spats they can get jealous anything that could happen with a random stranger or a friend or you know someone you really love with outside can happen in a system too so the example of alters raising other alters in some circumstances you can have essentially subsystems within a system and that can be like a separate area of the inner world it can be a separate like collection of alters that are kind of separate or separated from or function under their own dynamic from other parts of the system and they can be referred to as a subsystem uh, especially in larger systems like poly fragmented systems things like that are common right and sometimes there are alters who kind of appear on their own or stick to their own sort of areas of the world and when jade was created essentially i don't want to tell her story without her basically and i'm not sure how much she'd want to actually share but she was separated from the main system ruby helped jade become who she is she helped raise her helped her go through what was going on, helped to understand who she was and helped to settle into a role in the system that eventually became a really massive role. And now Jade is one of our most important protectors because she's also a gatekeeper, which she will be doing a video on because that's another one that was voted on by our patrons. So yeah, alters can have soft spots for other alters. They can help them or harm them through the life in the external world or through adjusting to existing. Because it can be really weird to suddenly just exist. Like, it's complicated. Everything about DID and OSDD is complicated. And you know how we are, like, we never shy away from the nastier side of things and 
you know, people have seen us have flashbacks on live streams and stuff like that before. We're constantly talking about trauma and abuse and the way it can change your brain and the nasty sides of DID. But we also make sure that we don't show it only as, oh yeah, this is the worst thing that can ever happen because if you have DID, you're never going to have a happy life. You're going to be miserable forever. Because we don't want to put that message out there because it ain't true. DID is not an enviable disorder. It's not a fun disorder. It's fucking heartbreaking and terrible and no one should have it but that doesn't mean that your life is over if you do have it there are things about did that can be really funny and really heartwarming it's nice sometimes to be able to step back and have someone else hold you you know whether that's in your own head or or whatever it doesn't make a difference but that doesn't make it easy just because there's good things about it doesn't mean that it's a disorder that should be envied or romanticized so we work really hard on showing a balance between the bad and the good but we don't want to scare anyone because if you do have the idea it ain't the end of the world you will be all right there are so many people out there who have it who are really f***ing successful you are not defined by your disorder you're not defined by why you have your disorder and you're not defined by what other people did to you as a kid. You're more than that. They've had enough power. It's your turn now. You can reclaim that whenever the f*** you want to. Another thing that can complicate dynamics in systems is if you get into a relationship because jealousy can be a thing. A lot of people ask actually, can alters date other alters? Yeah, some alters in systems like marry each other have you know like a whole life in the inner world together some alters have jobs in the inner worlds and things like that like it's really interesting actually to hear about the ways that other system lives present because a lot of them are different from ours like i said every system is unique it's always really interesting to hear about like what's going on in the inner world of another system because it really is like you're sharing one life with them and they've got a whole other life going on behind the scenes and it's the same with us the thing is this is a lot that i could say and a lot of stories and a lot of examples that i could give you but i don't want to be sharing anyone's stories without their permission you know that's another thing that's important don't share stuff that you ain't been given permission to share just because somebody is essentially part of one person like we're all one body essentially we're all sharing the same brain we still our own unique individuals like we've got our own preferences we've got our own history we all have different connections and opinions about different trauma and abuse that we've experienced and a lot of us have separate memories so like i might remember one abuse theme and then like nina for example would remember a different theme of abuse because did happens with repeated and uh, generally sustained abuse through childhood which generally then continues so it's not like there's just one thing that happened so everybody will have different opinions about stuff different triggers not everyone will know about the same things and that also means that people can come into disputes about how to deal with certain situations because someone will be coming from the understanding of, well, this happened to us and I need to keep us safe by doing this. And the other person will have a complete different opinion because they're remembering, oh, well, well, this completely different thing happened. So thinking about that, this is the best way to keep us safe or whatever. And then, of course, you have stuff like well, who's going to dress the body today? And I don't know, it's like fighting over a toy. <laughs> so I'm so like, I want to use the body. I want to be in the body. I want to, you know, play a game and stuff like that. And it's a lot more than just having multiple personalities a lot of people shrink did to being about just that but it's way more than that it's association it's memory loss it's trauma it's comorbid disorders chronic pain it's complicated if there's anything specific you want me to focus on because i'm aware i'm keeping this very broad at the minute let me know and uh nina will probably either feed that back to one of us and uh yeah if there's anything specific that you want to know about especially if you're a patron you can vote on it and suggest it which is why more personal videos like this get made generally because that's what our patrons want to see right if you raise it to us we will consider it so if there is a specific topic that you want to see in more detail, yeah, like relationships between alters or, you know, what it was like for the rest of us when Nin integrated, because obviously that really messed with the uh, dynamics of the system, or what it's like to be an ex-persecutor, or 
a primary protector and stuff like that let us know man we're an open book generally we do see what you post and we care about what you want to see we will educate you and give you like advice on whatever you want as long as it's comfortable with us so don't feel afraid to ask yeah things to keep in mind all alters are different not everyone's gonna get on really bad things can happen in the inner world really good things can happen in the inner world don't assume that everyone's friends and a family because it is not like that sometimes it is for certain systems sure but that does not mean that it's always going to be that way so can't really think of anything else to say without <laughs> dropping myself shit with the rest of us so yeah <laughs> all right lads ladies and non-binary daisies thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this and it shed a little bit of light on some stuff cheeky bits of info that you might not have known before nice to see ya hope you're taking care of yourself and uh I'll see you next time I'm in a video. Take care, everybody. Lots of love. Bye.